Yeah, growing up with Aaron was interesting, for sure. <laughs> when he was four years old, my mom got lost on the way home in Buena Park. Kind of by Disneyland, yeah, Aunt Sherry. But uh, in Buena Park, and my mom calls my dad frantically. I have no idea where to go. And she, my dad can hear Aaron from the back seat in his car seat saying, no, mommy, don't worry. Just take the 91 east, get on the five, get off here and we'll be home. Dad says, don't worry about it, just get off there. Listen to the kid in the back seat, he's got it right. <laughs> so, I mean, I guess there it is. Don't worry about it, Aaron will always keep you in the right direction, right? I've always wanted a big brother, and in some way I feel as if I'm gaining one. Aaron, I recall the first time I saw you in person. Charismatic, welcoming, and the life of the party at a college party. In a Hawaiian shirt. In a Hawaiian shirt in October. We have all grown so much since then, and I'm thrilled to have gotten to know you better. You are the rap to CeCe's country music, the baseball to CeCe's shopping habits, and the unique pairing you two make is inspiring. We are identical twins, which meant I had a built-in best friend growing up. From bunk beds to Aaron's frat bros confusing who is who at Iowa State, I can't imagine life without you. I will never be able to put into words what you mean to me. You are my sunshine, my best friend, the calm in my storm, my very own stand-up comedian, and the love of my life. Life with you is so much better than I could have ever imagined. My California dream came true. Maybe it wasn't that I was always meant to be in California. Um, because I couldn't imagine living here with anyone else. Maybe I was meant to be here living with you because you are my home. as we stand here before our closest friends and dearest family, before the beautiful Pacific Ocean, at the precipice of Malibu and her 21 miles of scenic beauty. <laughs> I'm here to promise to you undying love, protection, and to provide for you until I take my last breath. I promise to care for you the way you care for me and to never forget what today felt like. I will continue to enjoy exploring the beaches of Southern California, from La Jolla to Leo Carrillo and uh, up to Pismo. Unfortunately, I didn't ride as long of a vow as you did. <laughs> but one thing I can say is every time we encounter a stranger, especially a young child or even up to an elderly woman, they all respond to you the way Elizabeth did to Mary when she first saw her. She cried out uncontrollably and said, you are blessed among women. And that's the way I feel about you.
Thank you. Thank you. You're a great guy and a great brother. I couldn't be more proud of you today. And I love you. Cheers, everybody. Love is in the air, everybody. Say something nice to me.